How can I overcome social anxiety? Yes, yeah, social anxiety is very common among people who are just very conscious of how other people perceive them and how much they care of any kind of judgments other people are coming up with when they perceive them that manner. And it makes you uncomfortable, such a degree that you can't act natural. So the problem is that you're defining yourself at that moment in relation to everyone around you. Hasidus would, would say that that's true, there is an aspect of you as it relates to everyone around you, but then there's the essence of who you are. That essence is a constant. It's who you are in essence. And therefore, if you would define yourself on that level and then relate to people only on that level, then it wouldn't matter if they, how they perceive you, they don't perceive you, because you just are as you are in essence. In order to kind of feel that existence of your essence, we're going to do a, a slight meditation, uh, his bainness, they say in Hebrew. The screen's going to go dark. Just allow the images to filter into your mind, and we'll see how you feel as you as you are in about two minutes. Let us all now focus on the definition of an essence. For according to Hasidus, an essence is something that just is, standing alone to itself. On the level of the essence, there's nothing else but the essence. And therefore, the essence is unfathomable to the human mind. For as soon as you picture it, it's not the essence, but rather only an emanation of the essence, filtering to one's mind in order to give one a picture of the essence. For the essence, just as it is, standing alone to itself, is beyond us. In Hebrew, the word for etz, essence is etzem, E-T-Z-E-M, etzem. And therefore, when Hasidus wants to refer to the essence of God, Hasidus conjugates etzim as atzmas. For atzmas is where God exists just as he is, standing alone to himself. On the level of atzmas, there's nothing else but him. Before the creation of the world, atzmas was emanating spiritually, as an ever-pervading, infinitely expansive, all-encompassing emanation. And there is no up, and there's no down, there's no right, no left, for all was one. After the world was created, Atmos is still emanating, but no longer emanating spiritually, but rather physically, within the very physicality of the world as a godly force propelling everything to be. Should you tap into that force, then everything in your life that's up, and everything that's down, everything to the right, everything to the left, you, me, people, places, things, will all come together as one. And then all the isolated fragments of your life will come together as one, and all success will come. In order to tap into that force, you'd have to tap into the essence, into your own essence, for it's in your essence you exist just as you are, standing alone to yourself. For on the love of your essence, there's nothing else but you. For that is where you'll find the essence of God, where He exists, just as He is, standing alone to Himself, which is nothing else but Him. Should a person tap into that level of the essence, where your essence and God's essence become one, then there's nothing else. You feel inner confidence and inner stability, and you're not so concerned with how you reflect to others, but more how you're reflecting yourself to God. Mm -hmm.